Welcome back to this episode of Homeboat Workshop. Today, we're gonna make three different versions of some guitar spatulas. Now you might be wondering what the heck is a guitar spatula? It's really just a thin, flexible piece of metal that's used for removing bridges or fretboards. There's a lot of commercial versions of these available. Some people will even use a frosting spatula or a fish spatula, but you guys know me, I wanna to try to make my own whenever I can. So I've got all this stuff here that I'm gonna use for this project. I've got a couple of different chunks of wood here. We've got some maple, we've got a piece of Osage orange, and a scrap of mahogany. I've also got a couple different widths of this pallet banding. It's really flexible and fairly thin. This one I think could be just a little bit thinner, but I like this because it's nice and wide. I've also got a piece of brass bar that we're gonna use to pin the handles in place, very similar to knife construction. And also I have this little hand punch. We're gonna use that to punch the holes in this spring steel because it is kind of tricky to drill. You can do it. I found it's a lot easier to use a punch. You can pick these up. They're fairly inexpensive. I'll put a link down below in the description. First, I'll start out trimming down the pieces of banding. Then I'll use my calipers to scribe a center line. I'll center punch where I want the holes and then punch them out with the punch. I've got this little piece of maple here that I think will look pretty cool. It's got a little bit of figure in there. I think it'll look really nice as a handle. Now we got the scales, we gotta mark them out where they need to be drilled. I'm gonna stick these two pieces together with some double-sided tape. That'll allow me to drill the holes at the same time. The pins are cut from some quarter inch round brass stock. Now I can drop our blade in place, insert one of the pins. The first pin will keep everything aligned so that I can drill the second hole and everything will line up. While the pieces are still stuck together, I want to rough in the front edge of the handle on the belt grinder. Once they're epoxied on, I won't be able to access the front very easily. So now at this point, I could epoxy this thing together, finish shaping the handles and we'd be done. But I wanna move on to the other two, get everything ready before I mix up a batch of epoxy. The process for these other two are gonna be exactly like the first one. I'm just marking everything out, punching the holes, cutting the scales and getting it all ready for epoxy. This one's a lot heavier gauge, a little bit harder to punch. The only difference with these is really the size and the shape. That bit's got a little wobble in there. That's fine. Now I have the pieces ready for all three of these guys. The last thing that I wanna do 
is I need to shine up this metal. Some kind of a coating on this, I'm not sure what it is, but I want to take it down to bare metal. I'm just going to clamp it in place, sand it down. Now I'll just mix up some epoxy and glue and pin the scales in place. You could use five minute epoxy for this, but since I'm doing three at a time, I chose some that has just a little bit more open time. Now we'll just let the epoxy cure and we'll get these things done. Well that sure looks like a mess of clamps. Let's see if we can clean that up. Time to fire up the belt grinder and get these things shaped. Since I like an oil finish on my handles, I'm going to use a coat of boiled linseed oil. Danish oil would also work really well for this. I like the feel of an oil finish, especially on something such as a tool handle. Always remember when you're using boiled linseed oil, never throw the rag directly in the trash. It has properties to it which can cause it to spontaneously combust. So you want to always lay the rag out flat on a surface that is non-flammable until it's completely dry. And with the finish applied, the guitar spatulas are complete. I really like how these things came out. I love this color on that Osage orange handle and also the figure on this little maple handle is really cool. And of course, who doesn't like mahogany and brass? The leather on the bottom of this one is to protect the finish of a guitar when you're using it to scoop under a loose bridge. I think having the two different sizes of these is going to be really helpful for different applications. The fact that they're nice and flexible makes it really nice for getting in under a fretboard. So thanks a lot for watching this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by giving it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. Down below, you'll find links to my social media accounts as well as my website, homebuiltworkshop.com. I have a lot of other videos on my channel, some of which will be linked right here. So if you're interested, click on those, head on over and check them out. Thanks for tuning in to this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.